This video will show you how to port forward for free, so that you can do any cracking attack over the internet. So, please watch the video till the end. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In my previous video, I showed you how to hack any Facebook account locally on your network. But today we will do this over the internet, and from anywhere around the world. So, let's start. Open the browser and search for ngrok. Click on this first link. NGROG creates a secure tunnel from our local host to the internet. And also, this tool is absolutely for free. We need to create a free account. So, click on sign up on the top right, and create an account. Once you log in, you will see this interface. There is a whole lot of other options also available. Click on download for Linux. Your download will be started. Once downloaded, open a terminal on your download directory. To extract this zip file, type the command and press enter. Also, we will be needing our authentication token, so get back to your account and copy this line. Now paste, and hit enter. A configuration file is created successfully. Before we launch the tool, let's have a look at our local host. Currently, it is the default web page provided by Kali Linux. But we will be changing this in a bit. Now, let's launch our tool. Type this command and press enter. And there you go, it has successfully started. Here, we get two URLs for port forwarding. One is the unencrypted one with HTTP. And the other is the encrypted one with HTTPS. Now, if you open any of the links, it will redirect back to our local host over the internet. Also, we get the request and response codes in the terminal. Here 200 OK means, the connection was successful. So, now let's change our localhost web page with a custom page. Navigate to this directory. And here is the index.html file that we need to replace. This index.html file is the default localhost web page. So, let's create our own index file, and then we will replace this with the default one. To create an index file, type this command. Here, write the HTML code you want. I already created a very basic web page. Now, we delete the existing index file using this command and rename our custom file name to the existing file name. Now, if we open localhost again, we will see our custom HTML file, instead of the default one. Now, let's test again, if port forwarding works or not on our custom page. So, run the app again, and open our forwarded links. As you can see, we have successfully forwarded our local port over the internet. And now this page is available from anywhere around the world. Of course, you can change the contents of this HTML file accordingly. So, this was it for this video. 
Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.